for me, the, the main reason for getting involved in journalism is really to, to explore stories and, uh, and to give people a voice that may not always be heard. And, and that's a main driver for me. And particularly with documentary making, that's what I feel you can spend that time on a story and, and, and give it the care and, and attention that it, it deserves. My project was called Who Cares for the Care? And um, I looked at burnout among social care workers and who are often confused with social workers. And, but really they look after our homeless, people with disabilities, um, children in care, the elderly. So they're really working at the co-face um, of, of the care sector. Um, and stories were coming my way, I guess, that um, I'm hearing anecdotally that you know, some of them were working in really challenging conditions for a lot of reasons. I mean, challenging behaviour is going to be part of the job in, in some ways, but it seemed that there seemed to be a lack of support. Um, and, and like you see, HICWA has played a massive role in kind of standardising the care and making sure, you know, being that watchdog. Um, and that's very important because these, are, these people are the most vulnerable in, in Irish society. But I felt like the voice of the, the care workers seemed to be missing there. And the more I kind of spoke to people, it seemed that they were quite vulnerable too. And, and that was really important to get their story out there. It just afforded me so much time. And, and, um, and that's really important when you're trying to tell these stories that, you know, the, the people aren't there to talk, you know, that you can't get them instantly. You have to work, you have to build relationships. And, and having the fun there just gave me that little bit of time and support to do that. And that's really important, when, especially when you're looking at something like investigative journalism. You know, it, it doesn't come easy. You know, it takes work and it's really worth it in the end. Having that, that legacy of the Mary Rafferty Fund and the name attached to a project was hugely helpful in opening doors um, and people just, you know, building that trust with your sources as well. It was so rewarding, um, you know, taking that time and that care and attention. It could take up to a year, and, and, and thank you with the fund they do give you that time. And it's, it's a massive privilege and, uh, and, an, and an opportunity to, to really, um, you know, create the story that you want to and put the story out there that you, that you think needs to be heard. I think there's still a lot of stories that need to be told, and, um, and I think it, it's just a brilliant opportunity with the Mary Raftery Fund. I just can't recommend it highly enough.